been a jerk, that he consciously and deliberately hasn't been someone who did things that have gotten him in trouble. But still, he's responsible ultimately and fundamentally for the adversity that he's faced. This isn't something that someone else unfairly threw upon him. Again, it may be the product of some condition that requires treatment evaluation, but it's no one else's fault other than his. So that bothers me, and I think a lot of people are bothered by that. And I have no problem with a redemption story. But I don't think you qualify for redemption, Shireen, if you never acknowledge that at some level you're responsible for what's happened and therefore qualify for redemption. You don't qualify for redemption until you acknowledge that you need to be redeemed. Yeah, and I think all these redemp- redemption stories that we're reading and hearing about, Mike, I do think we have to remember that. He's not the victim here, definitely not. And I'll give him this. He's done everything, presumably, and he talked about this in his interview today, the right way since he's come to Tampa. So I- All right, yo, so that was, <clears throat> excuse me, man, hit that thumbs up button first and foremost. But that was... Um, and I can't think of this white guy's name on NBC Sports. Uh, does the week the morning Mike Florio does the the pro football focus NBC Sports morning now Antonio Brown uh, just won the Super Bowl with the Bucks. Congratulations! You know I'm a big AB fan. Some people say you're crazy. How can you root for a guy who's got all of these problems and anger management uh, problems? And you know, 16 months ago, not even 16 months ago, this dude was on camera uh, cussing out the police and cussing out the mother of his children. Um, everything went down. This guy went from being on the cover of Madden and dancing with the stars to being public enemy number one. You know, he he exploited exploited those text messages, those DMs with him and Juju, and everyone was just coming at AB. And yeah, he is responsible for his downfall, but he also it's easy to 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 knock a guy when everything's going wrong. But when he rises up like a phoenix, can we acknowledge that? And other than Michael Irvin, I didn't see anyone in sports media who ragged on AB just a, over a year ago, over the last God knows how long this started. Because that happened, the downfall of Antonio Brown started, what was it, 2018 season, uh, the season finale in Pittsburgh. He showed up in the chinchilla coat and all that. And this has been going on for two years. And everyone had something to say. Shannon Sharp, Skip Bayless, Stephen A., Max Kellerman, everybody. This man came to Tampa under the grace of Brady, stayed with Brady for a couple of weeks when he first got there, kept his mouth shut, humbled, head down, took reps, less reps than he ever took in his career, had to be the number three receiver because he was playing with two pro bowlers and Godwin and and Mike Evans, and was productive. I think he had like seven touchdowns on the season, scored in the Super Bowl, you can't ignore that. And I'm like, okay, he's a champion. He got to another Super Bowl before Pittsburgh did. Can we acknowledge and give this man some credit for not only winning a Super Bowl, but for turning his life around? You know, since then, he got engaged to his baby mother. Uh, He he served his probation time, his his community service. This man has been a a law-abiding citizen for the last year, and no one wants to acknowledge. Not too many guys redeem themselves after being responsible for their own downfall, and he did it. You know, he did that, and I don't see anybody giving him credit for it because it's not as entertaining as him freezing his feet on purpose to get out of Oakland or running around in the backyard, I'm free, I'm free. It's not as interesting as him, you know, going on Twitter and bashing Robert Kraft, who, by the way, is a hypocrite because Robert Kraft cut bait on him when those allegations came out after one week in New England just for him to get caught with his pants down in the masseuse parlor. You know, it's easy to come at A.B., when he's doing bad, or any player, uh, let alone black. And I got to say, these sports outlets that was dogging Antonio Brown, where have they been at when it comes to this Chad Wheeler dude? And I get it. Chad Wheeler is not a household name. He wasn't on the cover of Madden. He's not, you know, he's never going to be on anybody's lunchbox. But I didn't see anybody really come at that dude. And that happened during the Super Bowl buildup. That was bad news for the NFL. They, They really did a good job at ducking that whole story like it didn't exist. But A.B., they gave this man hell for every little thing. And because Super Bowl media week, he was deflecting all of these questions. He's done a great job. Uh, You could tell Brady's been helping him with his media uh, savvy. 
you know, just deflecting all of the bullshit. Well, A.B., how was it when you you were in trouble last time? They were asking him DJ Vlad type of questions, trying to bait him into saying something. And he just kept saying, you know, no more negativity. That's not fair to my teammates. He wasn't – they didn't feel like he was humble enough. I'm like, well, how humble can the guy be? What, what, how many apologies do you want? What is he supposed to do? Get on his knees and kiss everybody's ass? Man, fuck you. This man turned his life around and should be acknowledged for it. And, and Brady should also. What he did for, for, with Antonio Brown, nobody in the league wanted this guy. The closest thing he got to a tryout was a year ago. New Orleans had him come in. It, it didn't go anywhere. Uh, Seattle acted like they wanted him, but they never pursued it. They were scared to pull the trigger. Give baby the Bucks. They, they all came together and did it. And now they're going to run it back and try to go for two. And I hope A.B. does go for two. My only regret is I wish he would have scored a, a couple touchdowns in the Super Bowl. It would have been some shit if he won the MVP. Because then they have no, no, no choice to, to acknowledge what this man has done. A lot of people thought he would be washed up after being out of the league for over a year. Prove that wasn't the case. He's still, in my opinion, a top ten receiver all in football. You know, But I, I just don't like how the, the media has just completely ignored it. And, and you got to watch the way the media, media manipulates people's minds because most people don't think for themselves. Sheep have to be taught what to think, and you can manipulate how they think. And it's like, yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to talk about this because that's, that's too good. But as soon as A.B. has a, a misunderstanding or a mishap, be careful because they will blast him like they always have. They're going to blast him as soon as they get an opportunity. He just hasn't given them anything to blast yet. But as soon as he gets, he, he does something, I don't care if the guy gets caught jaywalking, it's going to come right across that ticker. Antonio Brown, uh, you know, just ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. But, you know, I'm glad A.B. got it. Um, and, and the media has no other choice now. But, to, to, to you know, they, they, they don't want to have to acknowledge it, but they know what this man did. And, and, and they, they probably salty because they really didn't. I remember Cam Jordan, black player, um, A.B. came in in week nine, and his debut was against the Saints, and he was like, oh, that's if he even makes it to the game. Ha, ha, ha. I don't think he's going to make it. A lot of people had the over or under. You know, they, they bet, you know, a lot. And people bet they, people bet things all the way down to what color the Gatorade is going to be at the Super Bowl, red, blue, or, or orange. A lot of people put their money, that, or money down that A.B. wouldn't make it through the NFL season, let alone through the playoffs. Oh, how is he going to? He ain't going to want to share the ball with other receivers. Guys like A.B. are all about respect. He had too much respect for Brady to, to act like he did in Pittsburgh or in Oakland. And when he looked around in that locker room in Pittsburgh and in Oakland, he knew he was above and beyond better than anybody in that on that receiving core. When he came to Tampa, you looking at a, a Hall of Famer and Mike Evans, a pro bowler and Chris Godwin. He, had no, he, he couldn't act like that with those guys. You can't sit there and tell the coach, Man, I need 12 catches, 12 targets a game when you got Mike Evans and Chris Godwin out there. So he acted accordingly, you know. And um, like I say, give the man props when he does well, just as bad as you rag him when he does bad. But that's just my opinion. Uh, sports media um, is, is very disgusting in how they treat players, especially players of minority uh, race. So let me know what y'all think of Antonio Brown about the media shitting on A.B., and then, like I said, the man turns it all around, and now they ain't got shit to say.